Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to show you how to access the Google Analytics demo account. Um, so basically recently, this is 2016, August, uh, they released a demo account which you can tie into your own Google Analytics account so you can kind of play around and um, study and understand uh, how Google Analytics shows data, uh, especially for people who don't have an account with actual traffic and they want to either learn or kind of experiment or play around. Um, so really simple, all you have to go it, do is go to the support Google Analytics pages for accessing the demo account. And if you don't have an account, you're going to have to create one uh, at Google, Google Analytics account. Um, if you do, you're just going to click here on it, access demo account. I'm going to put this in the YouTube description. Okay, um, and so once you do that, it'll automatically add an account called Google Merchandise Store. And so what they're actually doing is providing data merchandise store, okay, right here. Um, they're actually providing live data from the Google Analytics Store right here, okay. Um, so basically here, shop. Um, and so once you do it, that's it. The account is here. And you can start playing around with it, right? You can go to your real-time reports and see traffic sources. Um, and one of the things I really like about this is uh, in the admin, you get to see how they actually set up. What are the interesting uh, different setups that they've done uh, to, to the installation, okay? So for example, if I go here, you can see that they have some filters, um, renaming AdWords campaigns and including the host name. Um, let's see here. Let's play around with it, okay? They've set up some goals, okay? Goals for engaged users, entered, uh, checkout, purchase, completed, etc. So you can see their conversion. So let's just look at this for, for a second. Engaged users. Okay, so they made a custom goal based on pages, screens per visit. And they actually made one of a an engaged user in this specific goal is someone that has visited more than 10 pages. Okay, so you can kind of see and get some ideas based on some things that they've done here in their uh, goals. Okay, let's look at a few other things. Okay, e commerce settings, they've set up uh, labeling for the funnels. So they've set up basically three billing, payment, and review, um, and it added enhanced e commerce. Okay see what else we can find some other interesting things that they've done are custom uh, dimensions for example okay so labeling their users or, or specific products or specific elements here uh, based on the custom dimensions you can see okay they've also added a few other things so you should play around with it get an idea of what what does Google do for analytics um, and hopefully get some ideas okay great so now if you actually want to go to the reporting, you can play around with the data, use segments, use uh, setup reports, um, and all of the things you, you can do that you either learned or you want to play around with on this actual store. Um, so you can see things such as, let's say, some traffic sources, which is a very popular report, right? Um, you can see the idea, the conversions they've set up, the specific goals, um, for example, right here. Right, so you can see the goals. Um, let's look at a few other things that are interesting. They've also connected uh, Search Console, which is a nice thing. So if you're looking to understand how Search Console connects with Google Analytics, you can see more data about your keywords, your landing pages. Um, this is a really nice thing to, to get more data on average position, click-through rate, etc. Okay, um, let's see here if they have anything under AdWords. Um, yeah, and they've actually shared AdWords account information, which is a very nice thing as well, right? So I can look here, look at campaigns. I can see how they actually run some of the keywords and ad groups and campaigns here, which is a nice thing, okay? Um, let's see what else we can look here. Okay, so behavior, um, let's see, site search, for example. So one of the things they've actually plugged in is the uh, internal site search okay so let's see right here so if someone uses search for example let's say uh, a t-shirt I'm gonna search for a t-shirt okay so you can see here the URL is a search.html and then the keyword is uh, t-shirt and of course keyword here so they've actually set it up in the admin to, to track the internal search engine 
you can see this data right here. For example, you can see the difference between people uh, searching and not searching. Okay, um, and very few people actually search this site. If you notice, okay. Um, let's see what else we can find here. A Let's go to content for a second. Uh, another thing they've actually done is set content grouping so they can actually see, for example, what, is, what are the data, the visits, the conversions based on gender, for example, here, which is a nice thing. Okay, um, so uh, hope you actually enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have specific questions, if you're learning or just have general questions. Uh, if I can, I'll be happy to help. If not, we'll try to get the answer for you. Uh, thank